I saw this roof, and I was like, I used to hang out there. I just want you to come and see my world for a minute. The Ellen show, the door was locked, so we had to scaffold around the balcony, it was very dangerous, he added. I'm very glad she's alive. The pair were pictured on the date in question last September after publicly confirming their romance earlier that summer. They'd met on the set of a movie in March following Meghan's separation from ex-husband Brian Austin Green. But, not content with one death-defying date, the couple then took things a step further and went swimming with sharks in Bora Bora, without a cage. While Colson described Meghan as being very in tune with the earth and a nature lover, he confessed that he's the complete opposite, something which he tried to overcome while the pair were on vacation. The Ellen show, we got in the water and I was like, I'm actually comfortable in the water. This is really cool, he explained. She got in the water and put her goggles on, and she was like, babe, there's a shark right there. And before she finished her sentence, I was already halfway down the street. I left her in the water. But worry not, Colson tried again and this time managed to overcome his fear. I'm not a nature boy yet, he said. The second day, we went and then I committed and I swam with sharks. Megan and Colson haven't exactly been shy when it comes to being open about their relationship, with both publicly declaring their love for each other in a bunch of super intense social media posts. On Valentine's Day, Megan posted a collection of pictures on Instagram where she called Colson her rehab Barbie. There goes my heart manifest outside of my body draped in the towering silhouette of a most unusually handsome boy, the caption of the post read. The journey will likely be perilous but there is no destination without him. Not to be outdone, Colson posted a Valentine's Day tribute of his own, revealing that he now wears a drop of Meghan's blood in a necklace. In the interview with Ellen, he explained that she had given him the necklace at the beginning of their relationship when she had to go away for work. He said, some people give a handkerchief to their partner, she gave me her DNA. You can watch Colson's interview here.